Well, for years now, a crack on a big tech uh, ran into a wall, a wall called the 1960s, uh, sorry, 1996 Communications Decency Act. Kept internet companies from being held legally liable for the content their users post on the websites. But that may be about to change. Check what Diane Feinstein had to say about it. You bear this responsibility. You've created these platforms, and now they are being misused. And you have to be the ones to do something about it. I'm joining me to talk about this existential threat to big technology. It's Bloomberg's Josh Brustein. Josh, good to see you. Um, Thanks for having me. This is, this is a big deal. Because you know it, this was seen as a sort of forward-looking thing, saying let's have the same laws as publishers, let's open up the, this, this world so people can, uh, aren't, aren't, so companies didn't have to be responsible, and you could let this thing flourish, the internet flourish. Yeah, absolutely. I think when you um, hear uh, Senator Feinstein saying things like "you're responsible for this content," that's actually not been the case up until this point. And if we see some real action in that way, it could really change the economy of the internet. What, what likely change could happen? Well, the problem with, uh, from big tech's perspective, the problem with being responsible for content is they, there's too much content for them to watch as it goes up. So it would really be a, a policing nightmare. The reason the senators are bringing this up, obviously, has to do with the questions about Russian interference. Well, there's no the question. Election. There was Russian interference in the yeah. election, right? At this point, there's no question about it. Um, it would seem. To, so I would disagree with that, that statement and say that big companies can't afford it. Facebook mm -hmm. and Google, you know, Google has to monitor on YouTube which songs are being used and pay rights out to those song right owners. So on some level, they're managing this kind of thing. But what it might actually hurt are smaller companies who might actually lack the resources. Google and Facebook are not lacking of resources in any way. But bigger, smaller companies and startup companies uh, are. Right. That's always a tension in, um, in these tech policy questions, where Google and Facebook are in a good position really to handle any increases in regulatory costs. But tech as a whole would be uh, in a much more complicated position. So we'll see exactly how this plays out. The sort of first battle in, um, in this has actually had nothing to do with the Russian interference. It's come via a sex trafficking law, right. uh, where um, uh, advocates for sex trafficking victims want a law that would make it easier to go after platforms that enable sex trafficking. And, 